Hello everybody! Welcome to another edition of Draw With Me Kids. It's episode 107, Seahorses. And as you may notice, I'm flying solo on this one. Poor Miss Rainbows hurt herself a little bit on the way home from school today. And she had a bit of a rough day. So she drew the seahorses with me, following along live, just like a lot of other people do. And we'll see her pictures at the end of the video. So in the meantime, grab your pens, pencils, papers, erasers, and let's go. <laughs> First trivia question, and I will read it again so you can hear me. Seahorses are also called hippocampus genus, so uh, they eat what? They eat A, kelp and seaweed, B, plankton or tiny fish, C, waste of other fish or waste of others, other aquatic animals. So it's seahorses, what do they eat? I'll start the timer and I'll start the drawing and you can take your guesses in the comments like we usually do if you're on Facebook and if you're on YouTube you can play along hello from downstairs so seahorses are a very interesting shape and we can use some simple shapes to create them the real basic shape that you want to start with is simply the letter S. And we're going to draw a seahorse from the letter S. As my neighbor is also going to cut their grass, so that's okay. You're going to take one end of the letter S, which is the, at the top, and draw an oval around it, just like that. I may have my pencil up just a little high, but that might be helpful. So it looks a bit like a snake. Don't worry, it won't be. And then you're going to draw sort of a little triangle or a tube out and put another little triangle on the end of it, like a little trumpet. You can make that as long or as short, as wide or as skinny as you want, because there are a lot of different seahorses. We're going to find out about that too. And then I just erase right there to connect it right to the rest of the body. I'm making this a particularly long snouted one. We can make another one later. And then for their body, And you sort of, oh, there's the timer. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. So our question was, what do seahorses eat? Was it A, plants like kelp or seaweed? B, plankton and tiny fish? Or C, waste particles from other creatures? Well, anybody got any answers? Did I see any guesses? The eek Eat plankton. That's a really good guess because guess what? That's the answer. <laughs> they eat plankton and tiny fish. So they're, they are not herbivores or omnivores. They are carnivores. I always thought that was fun. A funny one. So to draw your seahorse body, you would draw a half circle to connect your S there. And then just connect the front part just like that, just to make the nice thick body. And you've got, and you can erase that S part and just make it a little thicker right there. And you've got your S body for your seahorse. Some species of seahorse have um, have a bit of a neck there, so you could could connect it more like that, so you could have your neck, but. Others just have this nice big fin that looks a bit like a mane coming out. Just draw a little circle 
or a big circle in my case. You can draw the seahorse eye. You can give your seahorse a little mouth if you want to. And then you can think about a seahorse, or at least the most common seahorses you see, kind of have swooping scallops on their back like a dragon. So you can give it that pattern up the back just by doing a whole bunch of use like waves all the way up to its head. I'm going to erase that part right there just so you can see it. And seahorses have little fins on the back so you can do a little triangle like that. And you can take their tail and make it a little bit curlier there if you need to because their tail is prehensile. Does that mean? That means it can wrap around things or be used like a finger. You made a huge eye too. And then you can sort of make patterns on your seahorse if you want to because some of them have little diamond patterns on them. Actually, I think this guy would probably look a little better if I didn't connect. Didn't have that thing. It would look a little better if I just went like that. I and mean, maybe you'll see his other fin sticking out the other side. So that's one kind of seahorse. I'm going to do our second trivia question if you're ready. Our second trivia question today is, the smallest seahorse measures approximately half a centimeter, so 0.5 centimeters. How big is the largest seahorse? Is it A, five centimeters, B, 15 centimeters, or C, 35 centimeters? How big is the largest known seahorse? So this is the easiest way I know how to draw with basic shapes a seahorse. But there are, let me just change his nose a bit, a little snout. But there are so many different species. There are 40 different types of species of seahorse. So you can kind of change that look around. I think it's B maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I hear, I hear a siren. Another way you can draw a seahorse because of how different shapes is you can start with a head. You can give it a body like you might do a, oops, sorry, might do a bean shaped body. Like that. And you can give it a tail. That's another way. It's sort of how I draw a wisp actually. She has a bean shaped like that. Maybe she's secretly a seahorse too. That was if you want to do something that's a little bit more human like a seahorse. And you can put little fins up here and fins here. My door opens and closes with the wind. That's another way you could do a seahorse. Sort of like a person almost. All right. Well, Miss Rainbows took a guess at B, which is 15 centimeters. Your choices are smallest seahorse is 0.5 of a centimeter. How big is the largest seahorse? Is it five centimeters? Where's my ruler? This would be fun. Is it five centimeters, 15 centimeters, or 35 centimeters? So is it this big, 
Is it this big? Or is it this big up to here and down to there? The answer is 35 centimeters. It's that, it's the biggest. That would be Current. You think his name would be Current? I like that name for this guy. I'm going to take the seahorse and erase him and make him another one right there. Current. I love that name. So I'm going to give Current a little fin right there because they would have some st steering fins. So the answer is 35 centimeters, everybody. 35. <laughs> So this is current, and we'll make current have a little friend, seahorse. That might be just a little bit different, like the one I just drew. So maybe this one is kind of, they're looking at each other. This one will be a little teeny version. You're going to color now. You're already ready. That's pretty cool. Well, then I'll do the third trivia question, and I'll start doing my second a second seahorse, looking at this seahorse, and then another seahorse, the third one, and then we'll be ready. We'll be done. The third trivia question is, see, oh, I think I gave it away. <laughs> That's okay. Seahorses use what to swim? Do they use A, a set of fins, B, its tail, or C, by shooting water from its nose, it propulses. So how does a seahorse swim? Through its set of fins, its tail, or by shooting water? I'm just going to do this little folly here. Sort of like I showed you with the bean. I don't think I like it turning that way. I think I like it better when it's much more S-shaped, although it could prehend. Yeah, well, well, maybe we'll do it like that. Maybe this one is doing what seahorses do naturally. So they don't float away. This one's got a bit of a sassy attitude. I don't know. I like it. It's got a longer neck. So what does, how does a seahorse move? I can tell you that if a seahorse doesn't want the way that the seahorses move is actually pretty interesting and unfortunately doesn't get them to move very far. At least not very, they're so light in the water that the way that they can move around doesn't often help them very much. Oh, there we go. So do you have a guess? between how a sea, what a seahorse uses to swim, its set of fins, its tail, or by shooting water out its nose? Oh, neato! One looks like an S and one that, that you made looks like a J. That's pretty cool. I can't wait to see you, Miss Rainbows. We'll share them with our friends, too. I'll make this one a striped seahorse. The answer to the question is, oh, wait, I might have a comment. I might have a comment. I think it's its tail. That's a very good guess. It's actually one teeny weeny fin on its back and then the other fins on its head or on its 
tummy on its midsection help it steer. So it has a set of fins that move it around. It uses its tail to hold on to kelp or seaweed so it doesn't float away with the current. And uh, sometimes it shoots water or can contain water and fire it when it's scared by enemies. But it doesn't move very fast or very far and a strong uh, current or strong storm in the sea. So when the storm's happening overhead, it changes the patterns in the water can actually be very, very bad for poor little seahorses. It can exhaust them and then many actually die because they are exhausted. They can't swim against a current. They have to go with the flow. If they get put out to sea too far because they like to live near uh, the coasts and in uh, coral reefs and shallower areas that they can't get back very easily with their teeny little trying to swim. So as there are more storms happening in the waters or above the waters, I should say, it's been tough on little seahorses. My favorite little seahorses is this cool guy that's called, sort of does this, it's called a sea dragon and his whole thing body goes a bit like this. He looks just like he's a floating piece of kelp. And he too is a type of seahorse. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There we go. So Miss Rainbows has drawn two seahorses with a J and an S shape. I'm drawing one with this, two with sort of S shapes. And then I did, just drew this little fella here. This little fella would actually be size comparison. If this is the bigger guy, this little guy would be More like this size, just sort of swimming by. And you probably wouldn't find the two of them sticking together. They would live in very different parts of the ocean. And they don't really have these little sea dragons don't really have anywhere they can swim what they can swim with so oh well that's good i'm glad that your seahorses are magical and don't get pushed by the current that they are very lucky sea seahorses indeed so see you look a bit like this kelp and blend in Look at my shocked face. Where did my picture go? <laughs> Keyboard. What is happening? So let's give them a little bit of color and then we'll call it a day. This is starting to get near the end of our day. I will take my questions down. We're going to play a different game next week with our trivia called What Am I? And you have a choice between the two options or both. And all the answers will be, well, not all the answers will be the same, but all of the potential answers will be the same. I'm just going to try something different. Next week, we're going to do, um, we're definitely going to do the suggestion we got from our friends, from you guys. We're going to do wolves and, was it next week? No. Yeah, I think next week is wolves and foxes. I'm going to look at my little book schedule here. Wolves and foxes are going to be next week. And then we're going to do toucans the week after that. So I'm going to do... This guy's going to be... Orange. Orange. 
Current. This is Current. Hi, Current. I like that, Miss Rainbows, that you're naming them from downstairs. Thank you so much, because that's part of what I love when we're drawing together. You like help me name things. Seahorses are cool. Seahorses, like I said when I was muted, unfortunately, are one of the only animals on the planet. There's a, There are a few, but one of the few animals on the planet where the daddies carry around the babies in their tummy. Give birth to... Um, give birth to the baby seahorses. You can have between five and a hundred babies in one go. Eh. I got popcorn in my shirt. I popped some popcorn for myself today. Oh my god, some in my shirt. Oh no. Oh no. I make the little diamond pattern, little white diamonds. And uh, we'll put the uh, Kelpie guy in a more of a kind of greeny, maybe not that green. Not, yeah, let's do that. We'll be this color. So a sea dragon, a seahorse. Variety. And he's going over to the kelp going, hey buddy, wait. How come you're not saying hi? And then this fella will be on here like so. Once I get the color on this guy, then we'll just, uh, I'll do my sign off. How was everybody else's coming along? What colors did you guys choose? Seahorses are bubbles shaped. Oh, the S shaped is bubbles. Fins is J shaped. Bubbles is blue and yellow, and Finn's is orange, red, and green. And you totally gave away the, my, my secret that I'm not very... I left popcorn on the floor. I dropped popcorn on the floor, probably. More accurately. What a mess. Eh, what a mess. Honestly. It's okay. I will clean it up after. I, I have to clean it up after, usually. Alright. And then we'll take this, and then we'll pick a lighter color. Okay. And I will make it look like we've got some sunlight coming through. Oops. I ate the piece. Hmm. A little sunlight going through. Here we go. And that is my simple. Actually, let's uh, let's take these guys because I realized I ha I made them fit the screen, which is fine. Do that, and then we will do this. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Buddy will hang out like that. And don't worry. And just do boop. Yeah. 
when all the buddies are hanging out in the ocean together. Current, Kelp, and Zebri. I love those names. Thank you, Miss Rainbows. Current, Kelp, and Zebri are all hanging out together in my picture. Yay! We'll put some bubbles in here, and then I think I'm ready to go. Or little uh, dust motes. Could you imagine a poor little seahorse like Kelpie trying to chase after some plankton? <laughs> and they, they don't even have little fins that could chase. That's interesting, right? <laughs> so I love it. Current. This is current. I just colored on. And Kelpie. And then Zebra. Here are Bubbles and Fins, Miss Rainbow's Seahorses. Thanks for watching Draw With Me Kids, episode 107, Seahorses! Yay! We hope you had fun swimming in the ocean with us as we explored seahorses. If you liked the video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and share the video with all your friends. That way, no one will miss an episode of Draw With Me Kids ever again. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.